Hey guys, uh, this is an update uh, on the Linwood Chuck E. Cheese. So let's go see what's inside. Let's see what has changed. So they still have the label scarf for it. And we're gonna go see what's inside. See how much that they have cleared out. Oh yeah. So as you can see, they've cleared out uh, much of the games, but the rest of the games are still inside, I think. So it, so it still says uh, permanently closed. Oh yeah, you can still see that the rest of the games are, are still there. Oh wow, yeah, they made some progress since the last time we were here. Yeah, so they made some progress the last time that we were here. Oh yeah, there's the birthday party game. It's so they moved it right there. There's the birthday party game, and they've made much progress since since we were last here. There's the uh, NBA hoops, and uh, um, I think that's the top for a uh, dizzy chicken. Still see the front of the showroom. Yeah, I don't know um, if we can't see it that good, but yeah, I don't see the showroom. Oh yeah. They haven't removed the uh, posters yet, so the posters are still up there. And they're going to be... And, and as we walk through the back, there's the old Chucky sign. There, These are the dumpsters. Let's look and see uh, if there's more stuff in there. Oh wow, they threw out more stuff in there. More stuff in there. Got an old Safeway shopping cart. All that stuff uh, is completely left behind. And you cannot even see the uh, showroom that good. Cause it's like very, very, very sunny outside. And you can probably see it. Uh, I'm not sure you guys the rest of the inside, although, but you can't even see the uh, showroom that good because of, yeah, 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 you can't even see the rest of the showroom. I'm trying my best to like zoom in, although uh, on the rest of them. Oh yeah, it's like, Pretty hard to like see the through. Let's see. Yeah, I can't even see the showroom be because of the sunlight. And uh, all of them it's completely blocked outside and you can see that it's permanently closed, and yeah, the rest of them are completely intact, and I wonder, uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the animatronics, but um, I've heard some, uh, but I've seen some comments that they are going to be sent to a museum uh, in Florida, so they are not going to be dis destroyed uh that's some great news the, the walk around uh however will be destroyed because of the company's de-identification policy and uh see that this this probably um it's subject to video surveillance and this is where the uh, entrance sign used to be and on yeah yeah you can see it there there is another label scar uh, on a sign. 
and you can see well, let's show you what uh, at the inside uh, of these windows out there oh yeah there, there's an old uh, elevator there and believe me it's gonna be very very awesome to like see the location though um Um, it is like really, really, really tough seeing those uh, animatronics there, but um, it's like kind of hard to see. Anyways, here's the final look there. They, they, uh, they removed the uh, napkin dis dispenser. Uh, all the games um, are still left inside. Couldn't you believe it? Bro, that's insane. So, Dad, why, um, uh, Dad, what is your commentary um, on this um, abandoned place? Well, looks like they're taking their time moving out, which is fine. Yeah. They'll probably have a few weeks, but yeah, it's sad to see it go. Yeah. The phase three awnings um, are still there, and they hadn't taken down much of the games yet. But once again, we we cannot see through these windows. Yeah, yeah, we cannot see. So, um, anyways, guys, um, if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and comment. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. And here are some final looks inside. There's the photo car ride, uh, and there's a Chuck E. Cheese a sketchbook. So they. Probably moved um, all the games, uh, including uh, NBA Hoops. Um, dang. That one is really, really cool.